I'm Pat Gunn, and this is my Let's Play for Skyrim Dragonborn. So with this, I am going to be, uh, since I've actually finished the Dragonborn content, what I'm doing is wrapping up, uh, or going through the main quest line for the Assassin's Guild. Since I haven't shown that, uh, I didn't show that in my previous Let's Play. Which means, I guess, that the major questline that uh, that I'm omitting entirely is the companion's questline, which I've already finished with this character. But I will try to work in a werewolf uh, transformation uh, somewhere in uh, somewhere in here. I'm not sure where. So in my last let's play, I was asked. Um, by the Night Mother, who's a kind of creepy undead thing, to uh, go take a contract. And the contract was to be detailed in this uh, crypt thing here. So I am heading in. Huh, some gold, gold, gold. Ceremonial weapons. So that's another quest that I could do, but I don't actually intend to do that with this uh, this let's play. I did do it in a uh, in another um, in another run, and it was kind of involved. So yeah, I'd, I'd, I'm going to uh, avoid that. So over we go to this side area. And he wants the Emperor killed. But apparently there are a number of different assassinations that need to happen first. So, up we go. So I'm hoping that I can do all these in, uh, in a single Let's Play. We will see. So what's being depicted here is actually a quest that I've never done, where you collect um, eight dragon priest masks, or, or maybe it's seven, uh, and you get an additional dragon priest mask. The problem is that the mask that you get isn't that amazing. And at least with many of the characters that I've played, I've preferred to wear um, wear the magic user's mask that uh, that gives you, a, I think, an extra 100% uh, magic regen, which is pretty nice if you're pl uh, playing a magic using character. Hasn't been essential for all of my characters, but the reward mask that you can get, it, if I remember correctly, it isn't that impressive for really any kind of particular play style. So it's, it's a lousy reward and you lose out on uh, all sorts of better gear if you decide to, uh, to do it.
Okay, so back inside. And need to deliver the letter to her. So we need to head down and visit the uh, we need to head down and visit uh, the thieves guild under uh, Riften. Unfortunately, a, a lot of this questing, it gets kind of old seeing the loading screen so many times. I might decide to permit myself to occasionally uh, use the console to walk myself around. but I'm going to avoid doing that uh, when it would take me to somewhere that I haven't been before. Okay, so here I am in Riften. Yeah, this character hasn't been down here at all yet. So one of the more challenging things with another character that I made who focused on punching things is that there's an enchantment that you can get down here that you really want to learn as soon as possible. But doing this part here can be pretty challenging. Unless you just manage to run by like I'm doing now. But yeah, that, that guy back there, Gian the Fist, he has a pair of gloves from which you'll, uh, you'll learn Uh, learn the enchantment that in improves unarmed damage. Oh, but yeah, it looks like I've managed to make my way through without doing... without needing to get into any fights, which is good. Uh, although it seems like those guys followed me. And... Oh, so this is interesting. I'll have to remember this uh, if I ever end up creating a punch-centric character again. 
that if I need to Uh, this is not who I meant to talk to. No thanks. Um, De Devin Mallory. Oh, okay, he's right. Oh, yeah, right, right here. So there's that. Um, so where's that fist guy? Key in the fist. Yeah, gloves of the uh, future list. Those. Uh, that is the set of gear that you'll desperately want to get as soon as possible. Oh yeah. So now that I've been there. I don't mind teleporting right back to avoid all the loading screens that we're going to see between here and there. Of course, we'll still have to see the one loading screen, but... If you like, you can just pretend. You can pretend that I just clipped out the stuff in the middle. Okay. And this is the um, Did she actually give me some wedding garb? I guess I have Mirax stuff, which is kind of cool looking. No. Okay, well. Temple of the Divines in Solitude. Okay. Well, off I go. I wonder if I can teleport myself right to... Right, to solitude. No. Uh, let me see. Well, this gets me at least reasonably close. I will need to step back outside, but it will work.
Huh. Interesting. I think you sometimes see werewolves stuck in, in these. Okay, so what I'm doing is going to the Temple of the Divines. There's the guy who um, who's a priest of Shagorath. I want a bound bow, I guess. And where is... is this the Temple of... No, Temple of the Divines. Um, what is that in here? Yeah, I really f am not comfortable with this part of the game. Cheryl Elisif. You can talk with all the, the wedding people. The best place to actually do this is from up above. But yeah, I'm Actually, I think if you can get up higher, that's there's a thou more over there is. Yeah, really not, not a part of the game I'm happy with. The idea of killing someone at their wedding who, who's likely like a really great person then hearing their great unhappiness at such a thing, it's pretty awful. Fortunately, now it's done, uh, except I guess I can't fast travel yet. I need to make my way out of the city, maybe. Or something like that. Oh, actually, I mean, I, I guess I, I wouldn't mind using the console to scoot over, but I'd, I'd at least like like to clear the area first. Practical cat pants. I 
Maybe cats would be more appropriately wear breeches. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, people are running everywhere. And he is fighting one of those bodyguard guys. So, let's warp back. and report our success and then I think after that what will be necessary is okay Gabriella is the vampire girl so she's she appears to be a young girl but uh, she was uh, vampirized when she was pretty young. Did I already get this? Yeah, I guess I did. And uh, she's used her appearance of youth. Oh no, that's the wrong person. We're down there. We're gonna go mess with uh, the Emperor's bodyguard. Now in real life, I I am operating from a moral theory that when certain people seek or attain certain levels of power, then they implicitly lose some of the moral protections um, that are due to ordinary people. And by power, I'm talking about dictatorial levels of power, although to a certain extent, even elected leaders lose some of their moral protections. But yeah, the loss is strongest when somebody is in power and there's no way to remove them. Like take, for example, um, uh, Gaddafi, who, uh, who had a dictatorship who essentially was not removable, or take, for example, Assad or the uh, or the Tsars of Russia, um, essentially unimpeachable leaders who never had any meaningful uh, consent or removal procedures. Um, I believe that it's uh, essentially we d we suspend our normal moral judgments about their uh, about them because they're not removable and because they have so many lives in their hands. Okay, so we want to steal this guy's travel schedule and it is hidden in this outpost, I guess. How do we get in? 
this is how we get in. And unfortunately, the guy is right here. But fortunately, I have a very, very high, uh, high sneak level, so I can literally just reach out and grab it. And uh, okay, so he's heading off, but there's a dragon nearby. Um, Now, I could decide to care about that bonus, but I don't really care about it. I wonder if I could let the dragon kill him. Because that would certainly make things easy. Where is he? He is over here. And actually... Yeah, I wonder... Well, it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to wait till nobody can see me and zap him. This is his body, and he has a relatively unique bit of armor here, but oh, where's the incriminating letter? I guess maybe it's under books. That's a kind of weird thing. Okay, so that does that, and and I'll warp back over here. So if you want to do that quest in the, the right way, what you would do is you would read the schedule and then you would uh, wait until he travels somewhere else and then kill him in the middle of the city. You still will incur a bounty unless you're incredibly careful and lucky uh, to kill him in one shot when nobody's watching. I don't have the bow skills to do that. I might be able to manage it with uh, with one of the daggers, but he has enough health that it's not an easy thing to do. So yeah, if, if I had been playing in a less magic-centric way, then it would have been possible. As is, it's it would be pretty tricky at best. Okay. Yep. Ah, oh, Cicero. Schmuck. Okay, so where is Astrid? Astrid is over here. Hey, what's up? talking to you. What do you want? I'm doing the quest line. Do I have to wait for you to go somewhere?
Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's annoying. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, let's see if there's a way to fix this. If not, then... No. Okay, well, the game seems to have glitched, and there doesn't seem to be a way to complete the Dark Brotherhood uh, quest line. So, I guess that's the end of this Let's Play. It won't be the first time that something like this has happened in Skyrim. Uh, probably won't be the last. Um, and I've actually had a fair number of saved games, uh, or a fair number of characters ruined by uh, game-breaking uh, game breaking bugs like this. And it is possible generally to go back and load, but I often don't because it's just it's kind of disheartening. So uh, I will see you in the next, uh, maybe with the next uh, DLC, I'll do another series uh, going through the main quest line of that. And until then, I've been your host in Let's Play Skyrim uh, Dragonborn. <laughs>